Hey guys, what's up? Passiballer here. We will be discussing the second play-in tournament or play-in game on April 12, 2022. This is Los Angeles Clippers going up against Minnesota Timberwolves. That will be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 9.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passiballer. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Again, it's Los Angeles Clippers um, visiting Minnesota Timberwolves um, to determine who would actually uh, proceed um, and uh, uh, be the number seven in the Western Conference and the loser would again go up against uh, the winner of that game between number 9 and number 10 of the Western Conference okay let's check on uh, the form uh, of these two teams first so let's check on how they did uh, for their last games um, starting with Minnesota Timberwolves um, they ended up as the number 7 uh, team in the Western Conference. For their last 10 games, they have only won fourth, uh, 4 games. So not that, you know, not that good, to be honest, in terms of Minnesota Timberwolves' form. Um, they were a bit shaky and they were, they were a bit inconsistent towards the end. Um, while Los Angeles Clippers, they are at number 8. They ended, uh, well, they, they had 6 wins out of their last 10 games, but... Um, what's intriguing and what's actually interesting is that Los Angeles Clippers won five games straight approaching this game. So they are on fire and they are hot approaching this play-in tournament game against Minnesota. Minnesota Timberwolves would have the advantage in terms of the home court, while Los Angeles Clippers would have the advantage in terms of momentum. I guess there's no question about that. Um, both teams will be having uh, their rest day before they proceed and have this, um, you know, have this game uh, to determine the number seven of the Western Conference. Hmm. Let's take a look at the uh, injury list for both teams. For Minnesota Timberwolves, um, everyone's expected to play on this game. Well, right now, D'Angelo Russell is listed as day-to-day -day game time decision, but um, I, I haven't. Uh, I, I haven't really seen any article or anything that's say, that, that saying that D'Angelo Russell won't be playing. Um, matter of fact, I've read a lot of articles and it is actually expected that D'Angelo will be suited up for the Wolves. Now for um, the, the Clippers, hold on. For the Clippers, Kawhi, Priestan, and Scrub are all out. Nicholas Batum is in day-to-day -day game time decision. Uh, but I think Batum would still be playing. Um, the one in question would really be Luke Kennard, um, as he actually left uh, the, that game against uh, OKC Thunder. I'm not really sure um, if he would be available uh, because of that hamstring injury that he had in that game. All right, I'm checking on the spread. Let me just check if there have been any changes. It's still the same. It's uh, showing minus 2.5 for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Okay, this is going to be tricky, man. And honestly, this, this one is a toss coin. I mean, take a look at Minnesota Timberwolves, and let's be honest. Their big three is just as strong as shit, if you know what I'm saying. Carl Anthony Towns, um, a monster inside. He can actually shoot from the three point, you know, from the three point land. He gets those rebounds, he gets those fouls um, for the opponents. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, a very confident and a very smart point guard. Uh, Anthony Edwards, man, he can actually score inside and out. His athleticism is just um, a triple A, if you know what I'm saying. Um, plus, they got Patrick Beverly to help them uh, minimize the productivity of uh, their opponent. They have uh, scorers off the bench like Beasley. Um, and uh, uh, lately, uh, Terrain uh, Prince is actually helping them out as well. So Minnesota, Minnesota Timberwolves, they are actually um, a, a team to beat. It's just that lately, their form hasn't been that well. Now for Los Angeles Clippers, uh, they were inconsistent all season long. Not until uh, Paul George came back uh, because of that injury. And when Paul George came back, man, they became hot. Um, they had a lot of confidence. Uh, finally, they have um, the number one option for their score uh, for their scoring unlike before 
They just don't know. Um, they can try Kinar, they can try uh, Batum, they can try their bigs and Zubach. Whoever is hot, and that's it. But right now, they know who to go to. Um, if ever they need someone to score, they got to give the ball to Paul George, man. And the, the beauty about Paul George is that, yes, he can score. But he also knows how to distribute the ball and how to share it with his teammates, providing a lot of confidence to his teammates and um, confusing the defense as well. So that's actually what makes this matchup really tough. I mean, the starting five of Minnesota Timberwolves, they're just a monster, man. But Los Angeles Clippers, they got Paul George, and Paul George can do magic, man. Paul George can score. And just like I said, Paul George is a willing passer. Um, his, his, his long, his wide, um, this is going to be, you know, this is going to be hard. Um, for Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, they got to make sure that, uh, their, their bench, their bench players would be able to contribute. If not, if their bench players would not be able to contribute the way they're supposed to, they might be in trouble on this one, man. Because again, Paul George's magic not allows him to score a lot. But not only that, allows his teammates to score a lot as well. Nevertheless, I'm still thinking that it's going to be Minnesota Timberwolves uh, winning the game and even covering the spread. I mean, they are backed up by the fans. Um, their big three is just crazy, man. Carl Anthony Towns, I think he will actually uh, dominate the game inside. He would actually put the, the, the bigs of Los Angeles Clip Clippers in foul trouble. Um, in early foul trouble, much better for them. And... Everything must be, you know, must start with the Carl Anthony Towns, and from there the Wolves can actually figure it out. Not only that, uh, again, they got some defenders who can actually uh, minimize the production of Paul George. Patrick Beverly is out there to actually um, uh, to actually provide some um, some stress to Los Angeles Clippers' score. So yeah, I think it will be Minnesota Timberwolves. Winning the game, at the same time covering the spread of minus 2.5. This one's a toss coin though, but our pick would be Wolves minus 2.5. Minnesota minus 2.5. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.